ladies and gentlemen in studio, please help me in welcoming Lungi Naidu! like to welcome you with a, a Kote ginger drink. Here you go. Mm. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> That's, uh, stunning. That's healthy for you, by the way. You can find it at some pharmacies around the northern suburbs. Mm. You can follow the Facebook page, Kote ginger drink. I'm on it. That's the creator over there. You know we're only doing black owned things now. I've already met him. I've already had I've oh. done my thing already. Oh, you've already had him. Oh. Diversifying not only your sound but also the people that you work with and um, taking you to the rest of South Africa because you know RP is very niche, yes, it's an acquired taste that's what Brian Timber called it an acquired taste, and not everybody is is about that RP life. Everyone, <laughs> yeah, everybody wants to, and then there's yeah. just also lovers it's of just, music, yeah, period. it's just yeah. one of those things, you know. Um, working with I worked with um, Kalawa Jasmine, I worked with Monjin Ngobo, and I worked with uh, DJ Black Coffee. Honestly, it was not easy. With Black Coffee, it was okay because I'd already worked with him on his album. But working with Umonji Ngobo for the first time, Umonji took me. He, like, he literally said, I want you to just mute her. Yeah, yeah. Because you yeah. are so used and, to And Umonji is a musician. Yes. Mm. People don't know that Umonji is like a... Umonji is the guy that brought you... Of course, they go say. Proper. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. He Proper. can play instruments, he can sing, he's a vocalist, he's a yes. writer. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So he murdered me. Like, it, it was really hard because sometimes as artists we think oh, i got this i can sing i can write so i'm gonna go in there just monty literally wanted me to remove lungi naidu the r&b singer and figure out who i can be so it was harder working with him and the songs that i did with him were not easy songs and i was singing Ngez Zulu for the first time and he's writing in the zulu that i don't even see yeah he's also a good writer <laughs> he's a very good writer yes he's absolutely amazing and that's what i loved about this is the best part of this journey i got to grow as a songwriter i got to enter into a space where i wasn't the shit i wasn't you know yeah, yeah. I, I, it's a new space it's open and there's somebody who is better than me in, mm. in the writing skills in the singing skills like this boy is saying he's a brilliant mm. artist and a singer and a vocalist and i was like intimidated the one time i cried in studio, in studio yeah because it drives he you broke there's, there's, me. there's, there's people that me. work like that that <laughs> work you until you you cry but yeah. they want to bring out the best out yeah. of you yeah what what did you learn in that process about yourself what's the one characteristic that you're like yeah now i got this down pat there's still so much more of me that I haven't even tapped into. Yeah. Beautiful. So much more. There's so much more, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I was saying, Ofe, I love that you work with um, guys that want to get the best out of you, that you work with people that are not going to allow you to be complacent, you yeah, know, no. because they they really are shining this diamond that sits in front of us right now. Aguna Diva is studio. Ah, ah. <laughs> no, ah, they really ah. are. They really are. And you know, we're having a chat off air about the bubbling under. Yeah. And for me, it's, it's, um, you know, I still feel the same thing about Brian Temba. Yes. I feel the same about... So you guys are just going to just Brian Temba the whole day? No, but no, you no, love no. him. We <laughs> love you. Is, no, I think that's the first thing that came up since you mentioned Brian. Mm. And, and um, there's a lot of artists. I made an example about Cuesta. Even with Zex Bantuin, Zex Bantuin only just happened now. Like what, in 2014, 2013? Clap your hands. But he had been around. Yeah, be, he had been around. I mean... What, 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 what do you, and me, me, I say, I mean, I, I know music, you know, the thing is you can never have the market figured out and you can never, I confirm my South Africans, you know, yeah. as well. mm -hmm. but, but I do know that it just takes that one song, you know, but what yes. do you think it takes for somebody like yourself, talent to be really, really, um, admired and respected for, for what it is? <sighs> Yes, well, it's been such a long journey. And you, like, it's not like you're not putting in work, you yeah, are putting in that, work. Yeah, that's what, that's what sometimes makes me, as, an, as a singer, feel like maybe I'm not talented. Maybe You I'm are, by the way, you are. That's why I get it out of the way. You know that you are, yeah. <laughs> but sometimes you question everything about yourself because nothing that you put out is catching on fire. Nothing that you put out is catching on fire. And yet you're thinking... Everything is perfect. The production is on par. Everything is, is on par. What am I not doing right? So on days like those, honestly, I have to come back to, I love music. 
this is who I am, this is what I love doing, um, something's going to give. But I'm, just, I'm not going to give up up until something gives. Maybe it takes not looking for a hit, just keep on making the music and working and enjoying the journey. It's been a and long time. And then it'll happen on its own. It, I know it's been long, yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. But I love the bubbling under thing, that word I'm going to leave with today. But isn't it gatekeeping though? Not being, not giving um, the new artist this, like you say, the stage, the space, the space. to grow, so it's that even you, as the producer, the the the, the record label um, boss, can discover something new to yeah. give to the people yeah. through your artists. Yeah. Isn't that gatekeeping? It, it really is. And the only way, like I'm saying, had I not been given the opportunity to get in studio with Monty, I would have not known that there's another part of me that I had not yes, even tapped into. Tap into. So yes. even with the live element, if the stage is not open for me to get in there, I will never know my potential. I'll never be a Beyonce or Rihanna live because it's also, a, it's, a, it's also a space where an artist grows. You can't just get there and be like, boom. You grow, you elevate yourself, you elevate, elevate your sound. And a, Great example is when I worked with Lebo Matosa. She had not performed with a live band, but when she did, she understood that there's still so much more of me that I can still give. There's so much more that I have not even tapped into. And I think that's where South African artists, we are not allowed to grow and to become But allow yourself, break those barriers, break those barriers. That's exactly what I'm doing. Exactly. I'm literally that's doing right. that. Yes.